you've ever been through a traumatic experience and you haven't gone through the emotional processing to really get out the negative baggage left behind, chances are what's happening is that that experience is on auto replay. It's on a loop within your nervous system and it's running on a loop in your unconscious mind. Now think about the idea of triggers, right? Someone is getting extremely triggered. A trigger is something you pull to fire a gun. So if I pull the trigger on a rifle, like an M16 or an M4, it fires a 7.62 millimeter round. And the thing on the other end of that gets destroyed, right? So if you have an emotional trigger, what's happening is there's something loaded inside of you in your nervous system. It probably wants to come out and it's not on the forefront of your conscious mind. So a triggering type of event or a situation or statement or anything like that, it aligns the unconscious mind to the emotion and then it expresses itself in the situation. This is when people do things that aren't very nice when they're in a triggered state of mind. So one thing you really want to think about, right, is if you find yourself getting triggered excessively, one common coping mechanism people revert to is just avoiding things that trigger them. Oh, I'm not going to look at that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go in this place. I'm not going to be here. Sure, that's good for a little while. I mean, it's like sticking duct tape over a hole, right? It's a temporary fix. But over a long enough timeline, you can't live your life avoiding every single thing that might make you feel bad because you're going to be a prisoner of your own paranoia. So if you find yourself getting triggered and you're ready to evolve past these knee-jerk reactions you have to things or flying off the rails because you don't know how to manage your emotions, then one thing you have to look at is what is the emotion behind what's triggering you and how does it relate to your experiences? If you had a broken trust with someone and they did something wrong to hurt you, then you have to look at the, re the remnant emotional energy in your nervous system and how it needs to express itself for you to healthily healthily process this in a way where it's no longer weighing you down because emotions are drivers behind behaviors, right? If you don't feel the emotion, you're not going to exhibit the behavior. For example, if I'm not hungry, I'm not going to behave as if I'm hungry. And hungry people are typically what? Short-tempered, irritable. Um, they lack focus on what's going on because the emotion of hunger is what's primarily dominating their energy, right? So to wrap this up, Think about this, if you find yourself getting triggered by something, it's an indication that that thing is still inside of you and you need to go look at that so you can actually process it, release it, get over it and move on with your life. Because if you don't, you're going to be either living one of two ways. You're gonna have zero control over your emotions and they're gonna be flying off the rails or you're gonna be living a life where you're trying to avoid everything and basically a prisoner of your own fears.